I'd like to uh, give you some links uh, which can be useful for you. Most of them uh, will be given to you at your uh, group exercises, but anyway, I'd like to put the link here so you will be able to see it anytime you want. Um, Second. So here is the first one is the link uh, for uh, various files. Please do not write your names. Um, So you can see now uh, the link to my uh, folder on the Google Drive. Inside you can find textbook, uh, tutorials for laboratory exercises. You can uh, find uh, test questions and uh, um, other things. So uh, it is uh, useful for you and you can copy it from here because you see that um, uh, a lot of information appears in chat, that's why uh, the link goes up, up, so you'll be, it will be difficult to find it later. Uh, next thing I'd like to uh, give you is a link to my uh, lectures <coughs> for previous year, and uh, later I will give you the link to my late lectures for this year. Today's lecture is the second one, but uh, for most students, for the most students, it's the first one. So uh, I did not prepare uh, the uh, new playlist on YouTube. I'll do it in a few days uh, and I will uh, upload link here. So you'll see uh, uh, the link to, for lectures uh, for year 2021. And next thing is uh, the link for laboratory exercises, which is the same that was last year because we did not uh, record new videos. So these are three uh, important links for uh, files uh, and videos. Now let us start uh, today's lecture on physics. Uh, its presentation can be found in uh, the folder I have just given to you. And uh, the Subfolder is called lectures. There you can find presentations. Now I'll start screen demonstration. And you see, this is my so here is my presentation. And uh, here is the topic which we uh, finished last week, uh, actually two weeks ago, last lecture. Today we have uh, a lot of material for study, that's why I will uh, speak quicker. I will not uh, spend long time for derivations, but anyway, something will be uh, discussed. So uh, we have discussed um, the uh, oscillations of a uh, um, body which is suspended on a spring, and uh, we did not take into account the drag force, uh, damping force. If we do so, uh, we will um, get uh, the equation, the Newton's second law in the form of equation one, where uh, Fr is restoring force, uh, for um, spring it is equal to minus kx and f 
sub F is um, friction force, uh, which we consider to be uh, directly proportional to the velocity of object and uh, is given by this equation minus CV. Uh, and C is uh, friction coefficient or uh, viscous jumping coefficient. Wait a second, how can I? Oh, which Greek? Um, well, um, please turn off your microphones. So, if we combine uh, all the equation to one, uh, to one equation, we'll get this formula two. This uh, a acceleration represented as a second derivative of x. X is coordinate of the body. Uh, restoring force is minus kx and um, velocity is dx by dt, the first derivative of x. That's why uh, we have a differential equation. I think some of you can uh, know about this type of equations from your high school program on mathematics. For others, it can be new type of equations. And uh, these are uh, equations uh, containing uh, some unknown function and its derivatives. And uh, the task is to get the function from this equation. In our case, the function is x of t. So we need to know the dependence of coordinate on time. And the solution. The solution of this equation will be given later. So this is another form of the same equation. I uh, put all the terms into the left hand side to get zero and right hand side of equation. And some uh, new notations are uh, given here. So this one is damping ratio, which is uh, the uh, ratio of damping coefficient to the mass of the object. And omega zero is uh, angular frequency of the oscillator. So in this uh, renormalized form, equation is um, more um, uh, universal. It can be applied not only for uh, the body oscillating on a spring, but uh, for some type of uh, electric uh, oscillations for oscillations of various mechanical objects. So this is universal form for jumping oscillation, uh, oscillations, equation of jumping oscillations. And the solution of this equation uh, is given here. Uh, it is not so easy to derive it, uh, but it is much easier to Proof that it is solution. If you want, you can try to um, substitute this x t into equation three. You will see that equation become uh, the um, uh, just a second. Well, it become uh, valid for every value of time. And once again, let's look at this solution. Uh, it uh, is similar to the solution for undumped oscillations, but with this factor e to power minus gamma t. And um, again, it includes a amplitude, but uh, in our case, Well, uh, the question, let me. Uh, in the experiment, we are required to memorize the loss and description of the experiment. Well, for the moment, you just need to uh, understand. Um, and uh, there, there are some. Uh, experiments which uh, illustrates uh, laws uh, we are studying here and there are some questions which uh, 
uh, you will, will need to answer during uh, your tests. Um, I'll tell you a little later about your tests. So, um, uh, of course, we are very short on time. That's why we cannot um, create a, a, a whole picture of physics uh, based on experiments. So experiments will be only illustrations of some uh, the laws uh, we are studying here. And uh, I have uh, taken not uh, the whole material from textbook. You can see the textbook includes much more. But um, I have taken that material. I think it is the most important. And um, that's why there are some uh, equations which uh, I think are important. And uh, it's good for you if you can memorize them. But um, you will have your tests uh, online. It means you'll be able to um, use your uh, files with lectures. You'll be able to use your computers. That's why if uh, you have forgotten something, uh, you'll be able to uh, find it. And um, what we uh, are doing now is we are trying to understand everything and to remember where to find it. It's not necessary to remember all the equation. Well, so this is uh, the equation of jumping installations and um, you can see the amplitude of oscillation decreases with time as uh, exponent. Uh, so the example of graph uh, is represented here. The uh, oscillations become uh, um, the amplitude of oscillations becomes smaller and smaller. Please do not write your names here. I don't interested in it. Uh, I don't uh, need you to be uh, on my lectures online. You can watch them later. That's why I don't interested in your attendance at all. Well, um, next one. Uh, Um, uh, so here is the uh, um, new uh, type of uh, system, uh, the system with driving harmonic oscillations, which is important because of uh, some new phenomenon which can be seen in this uh, uh, system, which is uh, called resonance. Resonance uh, is a universal phenomenon which appears in mechanics in electricity in uh, other uh, type of oscillation systems so um, uh, it is uh, important for us to understand at least basic things concerning resonance and uh, the simplest example of uh, resonating system is again mechanical uh, system the body which is uh, suspended on a spring with some jumping force uh, which is proportional to velocity and with some external force. So if we apply some force to the oscillation system, we will have this equation of uh, motion. So once again, uh, M is mass, A is acceleration, Fx is external force which depends on time, FR is a uh, restoring force, which is uh, minus Kx, and F sub F is um, uh, the um, jumping force, the force of uh, uh, the force of friction <coughs> in uh, liquids and gases. Well, we can rewrite it again in the same form as we do before, with the same notations, gamma and omega zero. And uh, uh, you see that uh, now we have non-zero term in right-hand side. Uh, all the terms depending on x are in left-hand side. And uh, the one term, external force, appears on the right-hand side. Uh, the most important case is the case of uh, 
sine uh, external force, a harmonic external force, uh, which can be uh, uh, described by equation 10. So we can see uh, that the force depends on time by sine low. And uh, this uh, gives us uh, the solution of um, the equation which has the same form, uh, which is uh, uh, the form of harmonic function with the same uh, frequency. It is important that the frequency of driving aspiration does not depend on uh, the um, parameters of system. It depends on the frequency of um, driving function, of external function. So we have this formula and uh, amplitude A depends on parameters of system and on uh, frequency of external function. Uh, phi is uh, initial phase. It depends on uh, ratio between uh, external uh, force and uh, parameters of system too. But uh, it is not very important because uh, the most important thing uh, we want to discuss in case of resonance is uh, amplitude of oscillation. We see that amplitude A depends now on frequency of external force, and this dependence can be given by equation 12. Uh, one can see that uh, we have omega in two terms in denominator. And if uh, gamma is small, the second term is smaller in for most uh, cases than uh, the, the first term uh, inside the square root is smaller than the second one. And near the point where the second term is zero, there is a point of minimum for the argument of square root. So it is the point of minimum for denominator. And it means the denominator is uh, smallest and the amplitude is uh, highest. If gamma is small, well, let's say that omega equals omega zero, then we see that uh, only first term uh, remains in the denominator. And if gamma is small, this term is small too. That's why uh, the a becomes very large, even if f0 is not uh, so large. So this increase in amplitude of um, oscillations in case of consistence of uh, frequency for external force with the frequency for um, undumped oscillations is called resonance. So resonance is strong increase in amplitude for some values of omega. <coughs> well, uh, I see there is a trouble now uh, that the number of people, uh, uh, how many people I call, wait a second. Ready? 
Wait a second. Uh, I'll write a uh, um, message for. Uh, well, let us continue. Um, so I, I cannot do anything for the moment uh, because um, uh, we don't have access to uh, other um, applications. Uh, last year we used Zoom, but um, this year uh, we can use it only personally. And in this case, the number of um, uh, participants is the same, uh, no more than 100, I think. Well, um, let us go on. So, here is the equation for amplitude of uh, driving oscillations, and uh, you can see that uh, it increases uh, many times when the Omega coincides with Omega zero, and uh, it means that uh, for um, some systems with a small value of gamma, this peak can be very uh, thin and very tall. Um, this uh, allows one to uh, select the special um, frequency of oscillations. For example, if we have a um, small driving force uh, with different frequencies, we can select uh, the uh, signal from uh, one frequency only. Well, and uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I, I think I need to answer once again for the uh, And um, what's next? Uh, next is uh, that this resonance phenomenon uh, can uh, be used for selecting special frequencies, and it is uh, widely used in um, in communications, in mobile phones, for example, uh, because the frequency. Uh, which is used by every phone is uh, selected um, to, to be able to get the signal from um, the uh, <coughs> retranslation station. That's why uh, many mobile phones can be connected to the same station at uh, the same time simultaneously. Um, Well, uh, well, um, now let us uh, see some exercise which is used in our laboratories and which presents in your uh, um, online exercises, such as uh, resonance on a string. So this uh, device which is used there, and it allows uh, one to study resonance phenomena uh, in experiment. Well, I will not discuss it for long, but uh, here are the 
examples of uh, screen <coughs> sorry <coughs> of uh, um, screen uh, shape which can be seen in, during the resonance for the first resonance frequency we see the shape like this for the second like that and uh, this one uh, is uh, is for the fourth resonance well now let us study mechanical waves it is uh, more uh, interesting for medic students, I think, because it is related to sound, and sound is something which is important for medicine. So mechanical waves are vibrations uh, that travel through uh, material medium, and uh, in addition to uh, sound waves, we can um, mention here uh, waves on the surface for example, waves on the surface of water. Uh, other waves can be in, um, can take place in um, solid materials like uh, some uh, uh, steel beam, uh, surface of earth, seismic waves, and uh, other examples of mechanical, mechanical waves can be given. Well, uh, so here is some text about waves. I think we can uh, skip it now. You can read it later if you want. Uh, so uh, I'll mention only important, uh, the most important things here. So here there are uh, two types, um, actually three types of mechanical waves, transverse waves, longitudinal waves, and surface waves. Um, and the difference is uh, the direction of uh, oscillations and direction of propagation. Uh, the ratio between these two directions. If the oscillations uh, take place in the same direction as direction of traveling, then a wave is called longitudinal. If the oscillations uh, take place in perpendicular direction, then it is transverse waves. And we can uh, have only um, longitudinal waves in gases and uh, uh, liquid medium. So the uh, transverse waves can appear only in uh, solid medium. And uh, another type of waves that can be called transverse, but actually it is a different type of waves, it is waves on the surface. Uh, it is interesting, but we will not discuss it long because uh, for us the most important type of waves is uh, sound, uh, which is longitudinal wave, and you see it uh, can be represented as um, difference in pressure and uh, concentration of uh, molecules. Of course, it is not as big as you can see on this picture, the picture is just a scheme it's not uh, yeah. uh, that could be obtained if we were able to make a photo of molecules. Um, but the principles are uh, given in this picture. So let's go to the next one. We can describe the traveling waves by equation of sine function. Uh, so uh, this type of waves is called harmonic. Uh, is it uh, so? There is a, a wire that you cannot see the screen. Uh, if there are many people, please uh, type here. If, there is a, if this prob problem uh, appears for many people, please type it here. So it is uh, not the common problem. Uh, that's why let us continue. Uh, if someone cannot see it now, uh, you will be able to see it later on YouTube. Well, uh, now um, the uh, special property of traveling harmonic wave is that um, 
uh, is uh, the argument of sine function, which is um, uh, the uh, the difference between oh there are some people who is out of place automatically. Again, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, let, let me see how many people are in call now. Well, now only 56 of 100. Uh, uh, please wait here. I'll stop the um, 